Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. I hope you well, let's get straight into your reading and pull your tarot card for this week. So this is going to be the overarching energy, I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux and then we'll pull the main tarot cards and pull an oracle card at the end. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aquarians, 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. Overarching message Aquarius needs to hear. Thank you. Okay, that flew out. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, I like this for you because you are a swords energy. It's air energy. Uh, so very much in keeping with your element, the Ace of Swords, New Beginnings. Can be new perspectives as well. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, Message for Aquarius. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Thank you. So the devil is in your challenge position. Best place for the devil, I have to say. <laughs> uh, we have the Ten of Swords and the advice from Spirit here, Aquarius. And love the magician in your near future outcome. Okay, let's clarify. Go deeper into the message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Aquarius? 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. What do we have for Aquarius? Starting with the Devil in the Challenge position. Queen of Wands and the Eight of Coins or Pentacles. The Ten of Swords we have with the Two of coins that's the advice from spirit and the ten of cups aquarius is clarifying the magician bottom of the deck we have the six of swords which is aquarian energy too so let's clarify this ace of swords got the page of swords uh, and we have the four of coins again Capricorn energy again the devil's Capricorn queen of wands male or female is Aries for me as a reader There's somebody in their power so let's um, let's clarify this ten of swords what has caused you loss pain betrayal i mean there's levels to each of these cards so the ten of swords is a ten though it's a completion let's clarify this ten of swords knight of wands And what are you manifesting? Let's clarify what you're manifesting here. <laughs> Two of Wands. And let's clarify the Six of Swords because it's Aquarian energy. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of felt this because it's Mercurial energy anyway, the Six of Swords. I felt that kind of Knight of Swords coming. Good. Good. Yeah, there is definitely an energy of, you know, the Ace of Swords is a card of victory, success. The clouds are parting and you can see the blue sky. There is new clarity coming your way. This can be epiphany energy again, clarity. 
but it, it links with a new beginning so whatever clarity or breakthrough and it can be a mental break breakthrough suddenly seeing the clouds part and victory is at hand the success is at hand um and it's brought on because you're hearing some news it feels for some of you You might have had some news actually, I mean there could have been some news that caused you to be careful in terms of money. There could have been some news that caused you to be careful. But here's the thing, you're conquering it with the Ace of Swords. Um, the Four of Coins is an interesting one, I mean it can mean a number of things. Uh, security stability but the, f the four of coins is somebody who has essentially lost everything before so they're very cautious the fact that they get to a stable footing in money and career not that they're completely you know abundant they're not feeling that at all but they're just very cautious with money because you know it's kind of like they've learned lessons from the past so for some of you it definitely feels in this energy you are there's, you're being, I'm getting an energy, some, some news is coming in. Or some news has come in. I'm getting this energy, Aquarius, some news has come in. Um, that is either liberating you from being very cautious with money or it can well be you're finally conquering that period where you've had to be careful with money. And it, like I said, it feels like some news is coming in. Um, it feels more like a victory with the Ace of Swords being there. So some kind of breakthrough victory from a period of having to just be very, very cautious with money, finances, you know, to protect yourself and, you know, everybody concerned. The devil can be a situation, a period of instability. So for those of you who have had financial instability um, and you're wanting to break free from a testing cycle, you know, it definitely feels in this energy you are breaking free. There's a breakthrough energy. Um, it, it can, it, the, like I said, the devil can be a card of, of something that represents instability. But generally in the challenge position, the devil is an energy of releasing from the limiting feeling, the powerlessness um, of what this situation meant to you. I mean, it doesn't really feel like a person here. Yes, this can be about toxic relationships and healthy relationships, codependency, addiction. But it feels that there's a monetary energy here, a period of instability that you found really difficult to break free on that you have felt that you had little control over, you felt powerlessness, and obviously you weren't powerless because the Queen of Wands is you using your power to conquer the devil, you taking action to overcome and working through a situation to rebring material gain into your life and get noticed. It feels like you're changing, you're, there's been a lot of hard work and I definitely feel you want, it's been, a, a, this is exceptional hard work. You might have learnt a new trade, a new skill, uh, got more qualifications as well here Aquarius. You might have been taking, this is the empowering moves that you make, the actions that you've been taking to overcome this devil energy. You see, somebody in their power and somebody who, something, an illusion that we give power to. Um, and it makes us feel powerlessness. It's like I'm taking my power back by the hard work I'm doing. So I definitely feel in this energy there is something coming your way. Now this Queen of Wands can offer you something. So where you've gone through a period of instability, it feels, you know, certainly with these Wands energies, uh, the Queen of Wands can offer you opportunity as well. She can be a magnetic leader, very charismatic, very successful, very social. Um, yeah, very, you know, somebody who is 
trusting their instincts on how they take action to bring success and abundance and growth in their life. You know, so this is either you or it feels like there could be some person of influence this week who is giving you power by your hard work, maybe noticing you um, to overcome this devil. Yeah, because you're kind of like, you know, what that Ten of Swords was. This is an energy of somebody who could have hurt you, betrayed you, or a situation that has flawed you, caused you pain. Uh, it can be to do with loss as well, the Ten of Swords. But it's a ten, it's a completion. And with the Knight of Wands, I mean, the Knight of Wands can be an opportunity is coming in that's going to bring change that will allow you to put the difficult time behind you. Uh, so this can be to do with offers and opportunities. Um, it's also a card of inspired action. Your actions are bringing change and growth. Um, and the Two of Pentacles, it feels in this situation... It just feels like how you're adapting, how what you're prioritizing, what you're dealing with. And again, it's to bring expansion into your life. Yeah, to open things up in your life as well, you know. It, it definitely feels in this situation that the, the Two of Pentacles, because we've got a lot of Capricorn energy, uh, Capricorn, Capricorn, Four of, of Pentacles, and again, Capricorn, but it's, it's a Jupiterian energy, Jupiter and Capricorn. So just trying to open things up and bring good fortune into your life, you know? Um, and that's what I see you doing. The things that you've focused on, prioritized, how you've adapted to, again, this period of feeling, wow, I'm just about handling everything that's going on here. Uh, this is when you've got a lot on your plate and you're just kind of like grappling with multiple priorities and just trying to bring them into balance, you know, because you've been through a period of instability. You focused on the right things. And, you know, even though you felt things were out of control, they weren't. Even though this person juggles and dances at the same time, they are not dropping anything. So you're doing absolutely the right thing that you need to do here in order to bring positive change into your life. And it feels, for some of you, the spirit is saying this is the advice from spirit. Yeah, how you've adapted, you know, you're going to leave a period of hurt behind you, a period of loss, a period of betrayal, call it what you will, uh, because your hard work is going to be rewarded. And why am I saying that? Because, yeah, there's some news coming your way, news that will allow you to move forward to calmer waters, put troubled waters behind you. Uh, this is the news, a conversation, some information. Um, but there is absolutely news happening here. Some news, information, conversation. Knight of Swords is Gemini. Um, that will allow you to put difficulty behind you. Heal. Um, release the stress of everything that you've been through and just find the calm once more. So it really changes your energy as well as changing your physical reality here, that Six of Swords. I am finally detaching from this devil energy. And again, Six is all about getting the harmony back. Again, having gone through some instability and grappled with a situation that you felt was bigger than you, but it wasn't. You're doing all the right things that you needed to do to take control of something that I feel has controlled you. The devil is the puppeteer, you know? Uh, shadow energy, the puppeteer, you know, that we, is an illusion in a sense, but can create a lot of instability. Because for some of you, we have the Ten of Cups. Now, it's interesting, the Ten of Cups is It is a card of blissful relationships. It's a card of happy ever after. It's the rainbow of blessings here, Aquarius. Not just for you, but for your family, your home, everything that you love in your life, you know, everything that brings you happiness and fulfillment and joy, what those 10 cups mean to you. Um, so it's a, it's the happy ever after energy. But here's the thing with the 10 of cups, whether it is to do with family, relationship, or you on your own, the Ten of Cups is essentially Mars in Pisces, which is a card of the productivity brings perpetual happiness. So 
there is an energy of you being exceptionally productive in these energies the hard work being rewarded you're being blessed because of all the hard work that you've put into this um, and that's what I'm getting here with that ten of cups and you're turning what has been difficulty ten of swords into great blessings by your actions and that is the breakthrough here this is you conquering what has been a difficult situation I feel it's to do with money career finances because that two of wands um, and again the magician can be communication communication that may bring some kind of decision between two paths but know that this person has already chosen the wand that they are they are moving towards uh, can be two opportunities two paths but the two of wands is also the beginnings of progress you taking your world in your hands taking your power back from something that has controlled you you being in control and being ready to make choices about your future to anticipate the beginnings of progress in your situation and to see new horizons and how to make what you wish to manifest a reality and making choices about that because it definitely feels for some of you that the choices that you're making the decisions that you're making the steps that you've taken how to take your world back into control um, this magician energy is an energy of what you focus on now you can manifest you can make it happen you have all the resources the abilities the know-how the magic to really work your magic to create um, base metal to gold an idea to reality negative to positive you have the ability to turn something around so I definitely feel there's a great anticipating energy of the manifesting energy happening here um, the beginnings of progress and it's because you're hearing some news it feels like there's some news information a conversation here that is bringing blessings your way so let's clarify this ten of cups let's clarify this ten of cups for Aquarius and again Mars in Aries we have Aries here and again Mars in Pisces it just feels for you you're you're creating the dream here creating the dream through hard work <laughs> the moon which is about dreams as well um, the moon is even though you don't see the big picture the universe does um, it can be a card of lack of clarity but it's also a card of hidden blessings and I definitely get in this energy Aquarius you're being given some hidden blessings um, again this is Pisces energy Mars in Pisces it feels for some of you you might not have full clarity this week and how something's going to pan out but you have the beginnings of progress here the beginnings of the first step to manifesting what you want to happen that can ultimately lead to some offer opportunity or change coming into your life that will allow you to put difficulty behind you and it starts with some news or conversation coming your way and that is it feels like some kind of finally a break in the clouds finally a breakthrough um, it definitely feels in the energy again some news so powerful energy powerful energy here very nice energy indeed I'm gonna pull a final card it just feels like I'm definitely getting you creating the dream and there's the beginnings of, of news coming your way it, it definitely feels to do with money career finances yeah inner child the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child playing keeps his young at heart do something silly and fun but stay safe 
It's interesting, bottom of the deck, I looked, so I'm going to read it out to you. Magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. I mean, that is the magic. If you believe the mag you have the magic, you know, you can use that magic to manifest whatever you focus your intention on. This is about focus intention. What's the one thing I want to change? You know, and there's the beginnings of progress, it, making it happen here. It feels like you're getting just the glimmers, the first step on that new journey that you've been manifesting. You're beginning to create that dream. And it, it, it starts with some news or information coming through, which is the breakthrough. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.